Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So about a month ago, actually a little over a month ago now, I received my 16 inch MacBook Pro and over the course of this one month period, I certainly used it a lot. So today I will be giving you guys a one month update, telling you guys the ways that I've been using it, how it's been performing and my overall thoughts on this device. And let's just jump right into talking about it. Okay, so so just a quick little disclaimer, I'm not going to be super technical. In this video, I did talk about my specs in my first unboxing video. So if you're interested in the specs of this computer right here, then please be sure to check out that video. I will have it linked up here or up there. I don't really know which way it is. I am mostly just going to be talking about what I observed in terms of its performance. Okay, so let me tell you all the things that I did on this computer over the course of this one month. First of all, I did coding. I actually did a lot of coding. I made a Chrome extension in Visual Studio Code. Basically, this extension shows you all of the Chrome tabs that you have open. You can select tabs to close, windows to close, and you can also bring yourself to a selected tab. And I made this extension because I realized that especially when I had a lot of tabs open, sometimes across multiple different windows, it can be hard to navigate between them. It can be hard to like see what I have open. And this just helps me like see what I have and be able to close ones that I don't need and also bring myself to the tab that I want to be at. <laughs> Alright, so that was my little self promo for this and let's continue talking about other things that I did. So in addition to this extension, I also coded up my own personal website using Django. I also did this using Visual Studio Code. Okay, and the next thing that I did was video editing. I also edited a lot of videos. Most of them I actually edited in 4K. There were some that I still edited in 1080, but because I had such a powerful computer, I decided to edit mostly in 4K. And the third thing that I I did was attend a lot of online meetings. I attended meetings on Zoom, on Skype, on Google Meet, on Discord, on Facebook Messenger. Yeah, like basically all of the online meeting platforms. And the fourth thing that I did was, um, well, this wasn't really something that I did, but a habit that I started to develop is I started to have a lot more Chrome tabs and windows open than ever before. When I had my old MacBook Air 13 inch, I honestly never had a lot of tabs open. I always made sure to close down my tabs, mainly because I noticed that whenever I did have a lot of tabs open, then my computer would start to really, really slow down, really loud and it was super annoying so I always made sure that the number of tabs that I had was a decent amount not like a crazy high amount but now that I have this much more powerful computer that can handle having a ton of tabs open I've started to have a lot of tabs open <laughs> okay and the fifth thing that I did was install a lot of different applications and I'm not going to go through all of them because that would be kind of boring and you guys probably don't care but there is one that I would like to highlight and no this is not sponsored by them. I just honestly really like this application. It is called Better Snap Tool. It is not free, but I think it's only like $3 and it's totally, totally worth it. What it allows you to do is you can enter in keyboard shortcuts that will allow you to snap your Windows in a certain way and you get to decide. So right now I have keyboard shortcuts set to snapping half and half and then the top right quarter, bottom right quarter, top left quarter, and bottom left quarter. I have those configurations but there are so many other configurations that you can set. It makes snapping the window so much easier. Without it I would have to use my mouse and it's just not as convenient. So first let's talk about how my computer performed while I was coding. And the simple answer is it performed great, um, it never lagged. I was able to have multiple windows of Visual Studio Code open and I actually often had a sidecar connected so I had my iPad as a secondary display and in addition to that of course as I was coding I had like 20 different tabs of Stack Overflow open and throughout all of that like my computer never lagged a single bit so it was just great. And also this isn't really concerning performance but I really appreciate having a large 16 inch screen. Of course I know that a lot of like software engineers, software developers, you know professional software people 
do have monitors and even some like students, some like computer science students also have monitors and I don't have a monitor but that is something that I'm thinking about but I do think that my 16 inch screen is very good and I really appreciate it. Okay so now let's talk about video editing in 4k and in 1080. So I use Final Cut Pro to edit all my videos and I usually have around 30 minutes to an hour of footage depending on what video it is and I like to drop all of my footage into Final Cut Pro before I start editing. So like in the Final Cut Pro timeline, usually in the very beginning, I have like 30 minutes to an hour worth of footage. And as I'm editing, I do cuts, titles, transitions, and color corrections. And I sometimes also do stabilization. So I would say I do some pretty heavy tasks when I'm video editing. And most of the time when I'm at video editing in 4K, Final Cut Pro does perform pretty well. Although sometimes it does slow down and get a little bit laggy, but usually it's fine. I would say there have been five times that I can recall that Final Cut Pro like really really lagged out and kind of froze up for like a few minutes before it recovered and there were two times that Final Cut Pro just completely crashed and during all of those times that Final Cut Pro either just slowed down a lot or crashed I was doing some pretty heavy tasks I think I had like five clips stabilizing I was color correcting another clip and I was trying to add a transition on top of the clip that I was color correcting so like I was definitely doing a lot of stuff when Final Cut Pro slow down but normally when I'm not doing like super heavy things Final Cut Pro does perform pretty well and then I have also edited a few videos in 1080 and for those videos I had no problem at all like Final Cut Pro never lagged and in fact I actually edited a vlog that had about one hour worth of footage and I was like scrubbing through it kind of color correcting it making transitions things like that and Final Cut Pro never lagged a single bit so yeah, it was great. Okay, and really quickly, I'm just going to talk about this performance compared to the performance of my MacBook Air 13 inch. So on my MacBook Air, I only edited it in 1080 because I don't think that that device can handle 4K. And even though it was 1080, it would always lag like pretty often, I would remember. Even when I'm not doing super heavy tasks, even if I'm just doing a little bit of color correcting, it would still lag. I don't think I ever did stabilization on my MacBook Air. So basically in terms of video editing, the MacBook Air really performed pretty subpar and I am so glad that this new computer is very powerful and very good for video editing. And now let's talk about how my computer performed during online meetings. So I've attended many one-on-one -on -one meetings and big group meetings and sometimes during big group meetings I would hear people say, oh sorry, like my Skype just froze or my zoom just froze or oh like my computer is like really slowing down what do I do I would hear people say that and I never ever had an issue with my computer slowing down or zoom or like whatever application I was using to call freeze usually when I'm calling I'm also doing other things on my computer I usually have like a few chrome tabs open probably google docs or just some other thing pulled up I'm usually like typing working at the same time that I'm calling and even then my computer never lags so that is just great. So overall, I would say in terms of attending online meetings and doing things as I'm attending the meeting, my computer performs amazing. Like no slowdowns, no lags at all. So that is super great. Although I do have one complaint about online meetings and it's that the webcam quality is not that good. Um, I looked it up and I think the webcam quality is only 720p and like that's just kind of disappointing considering this computer was so expensive and I get a 720p webcam and of course we all know that going forward there will probably be even more online meetings so i really hope that the next generation of macbooks will get an updated webcam like at least 1080p please so yeah that is my only complaint though it's just that whoever i'm calling they won't get to see me very clear oh and one more thing that i forgot to add the microphone so i have asked a few of my friends who i've called how they find my microphone and all of them told me that my microphone is like really good i've called my friends on my phone my ipad and my computer so all three devices and they told me that my computer microphone is noticeably the best one out of all three of them so yeah, the microphone on this computer is definitely very good. Okay, so now let's talk about having a lot of tabs and windows open. So I think I briefly mentioned, but on my last computer, the MacBook Air 13 inch, whenever I had like 
I would say more than 10 tabs open, then my computer starts to slow down. On this computer, I never saw that happening and I'm pretty sure I've had over 30 tabs open at once before. No matter if it's a static web page, YouTube or Google Docs, they never lag. Everything still loads very fast. The scrolling is also very smooth, no lag whatsoever. Although actually I remember one time I was playing a 4K 60 video on YouTube and that was when my computer did start lagging up a bit but that is understandable because the video was 4k 60. That was like the only time that I can remember my computer lagging. Alright so yeah now I'm just going to give you guys some concluding thoughts. This laptop is absolutely amazing. It's very nice. I know this is Apple's best laptop so it definitely should perform very well. The only time that it does act up a little bit is during video editing but during all other times it runs super fast and super smooth. The screen is amazing. The 16 inch screen is very big and I love it. It feels like it just like fills up my vision. Like I don't really have to focus my eyes on it to be able to see it but it's like it just kind of fills up my vision if that makes any sense. But yeah, I love having a big screen. And um, the touch bar, it's nice to have, but I honestly don't use it often. I did kind of mention it in the unboxing video that I did, but um, I really don't find myself using it too often. So that is that. One last thing that I'm going to say is that this computer is definitely very heavy. It's not like super annoyingly heavy that I wouldn't want to, you know, carry it around. I would say that it is a good computer to bring around to libraries and stay there for the entire afternoon while doing your work. Alright, so yeah, that is the end of this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any further questions about my computer, then please leave them in a comment down below and I will try my best to get back to you about it. Thank you guys so much for all the comments on my first unboxing video. I do read all of them and some of the comments are super funny so yeah i really enjoy your comments and um if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel down below and i will talk to you guys in another video bye